So today we're having one of our refugee case who was impacted by the executive order that now is allowed to come in. So uh, it's a family unification case. Um, so we had a, a wife and her daughter here that was waiting her husband and now he's coming. So hopefully uh, this will be a very happy ending for them. I'm so happy. I've been waiting more than two years to come and meet with my family to be reunited. I cannot express how happy I am today. So happy to be here in the United States. I can't thank you enough for everyone who was working so hard to welcome me here and how happy I am with my family today. I'm happy to see my daughter that I haven't seen her. Look, my daughter, she can't even recognize me. It's the first time I'm seeing her. So we have to do a lot of work to get to know her better. There's people that are in the refugee camp for more than two years that I share with them in that refugee camp. And they are—they don't have the uh, the same opportunity that I received. So I want to send a message to the American government and President Trump that you know he needs to look at in in a, in a humanitarian way and also in a lovely way because refugees have fled their home country and they don't have anywhere to go back to. They've been there for more than 20 years and they don't have anywhere to go back to.